I have three lazy manifesting techniques so that you can do nothing and get everything. Some people like working towards their goals. <laughs> I actually do like working towards my goals. Uh, and sometimes these are almost disappointing because you didn't have to do anything. But nevertheless, it is fun to know that you literally can just put things out and have them come back. And so these are some of my favorite techniques. All right, for technique number one, I mentioned this one several years ago. So I'm gonna mention it again because I was just reminded of it because this is a technique I only do every few years. You can do it more frequently, but what you wanna do is you wanna get a box, okay? You wanna get a box that looks nice. And so this is a nice looking little box that I got a long time ago for a birthday present. And this is what I use. If you want something more masculine, you could use like um, maybe a watch box or like a leather box, but get a nice box. And what you wanna do is you wanna find some place to display said box. I like to put it in my closet because it's got, mine's got shoes on it. <laughs> so it fits well with my closet, but you could display it somewhere in a room or in a display case. But this is going to be kind of your wish box. All right, now for this box here, what I want you to do is I want you to take a moment and I want you to think about some longer term big goals that you'd like to see happen. So for this box, I like to do this for like income goals or if there's something really big that I'd love to manifest, but I don't quite feel I can have it yet, I like to use this. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're going to write down on a sheet of paper or on as many scraps of paper as you would like. If you look in my box, all right, I've got a few different scraps of paper. They're not very pretty. You could do it prettier than I did but you're gonna write down what you want and by what date, okay? What date and time, okay? So I like to say stuff like, by the end of 2022, I'll have X, Y, Z. By the end of 2025, I'll have X, Y, Z. By September of 2027, I'll have X, Y, Z. And so I want you to think of things. Usually I like to do things within a time zone of about a year to two years, okay? so. Write down something big that if you could have it within the next two years, it'd really, you know, knock your socks off and put it in the box. Now, the reason why I love this game, I love this technique, is that I have always manifested <laughs> the things I've put in this box. Here's the trick to this technique. You don't just want to put it in the box. And the box doesn't just have to be fancy. But the important thing is, is that once you write your things down and you put them in the box, you are gonna leave that box alone for at least, wait for it, <laughs> at least a year, okay? And I like to make them wait till about two years, okay? So I like to put big goals, usually goals that I wanna get within about a year, but I don't open it for about two years. And so every time I do this, it knocks my socks off. So I recently saw this box sitting up in my closet. I'd forgotten about it. I forgot everything that was in it. I completely forgot what I had asked for. And once you're at that point where you have no idea what you even wrote, <laughs> then you can pull out your box and look it over and see if you manifested what you put in here, okay? So the last time that I did this, I put in the one on top here. I put in some stuff about my earning goals for 2022. And I came within, I came over a couple thousand dollars of what I wrote down here. And this was a huge stretch for me. And there was, I was like, there's no way I'm gonna make this much money. <laughs> and I actually made just a smidge more, but it was super, super close. Um, growing my business, I hit that size. Uh, I had some, I had some strength goals in the gym that I hit. I had something that I wanted to build in my business that I got done and that was very successful. I had a program that I wanted to launch and the sales goals for that program were dead on. Everything on this was like accurate. And all I did was I wrote it and I put it in the box. But the trick is you want to forget about it. Now, why I think this is so successful is that you really kind of go for it here, okay? Put your big goals here. Don't put the little tiny goals that you already know you're gonna get. Put the big goals. It gives you an opportunity to really think big 
And because you're putting it in as a long-term goal and you're not going to check it until you totally forget about it, it means that you give yourself permission to detach. Okay. And that's the real secret about this particular technique. You're able to detach completely from the outcome because you forgot you even wrote the goal down. So go ahead and do that. Do that today. Okay. Get your little box tradition going. If you want to do multiple boxes, so you got different boxes that you can open up so you don't have to wait, you know, a full two years or however long I wait, you could totally do that too. But go ahead and try that one out because that's an awesome way to do nothing and manifest a spectacular dream. So real quick, I'd love to hear from you. What would you put in the box? Think about that. What's something huge that if you manifested it within the next year or two, you would just be amazed. You know, do you want 100,000 subscribers on your YouTube channel? Do you want to make $500,000? Do you want to hit the lottery for a million? Like, what, do you, what is it that you want that you think right now might be a little bit outrageous? Go ahead and write it down for me in the comments and let me see what your big goals are that you're going to use with this strategy. All right, now my second strategy to do nothing and get everything is it's an oldie and a lot of people who don't even practice the law of attraction do this, <laughs> all right? Um, but it's ask for help. And the more familiar way to, to say this would be prayer, okay? It doesn't have to be prayer if you're not a religious person, but the idea is you're going to ask for the higher power, something bigger than yourself to do the work for you. Now, this is a particular strategy I like to use if there's something that I want and I have no idea how it's going to happen. I have no idea how I could possibly materialize this into my life. I haven't a clue, or maybe it's something that I've struggled with for a really long time and it's really been bugging me. A lot of times when we're in that situation, we try to think about it. We try to strategize. How could I make this work? And we try harder. And unfortunately, as you probably already know, the law of attraction, when you start trying a lot, you actually start pushing your dream away. Okay. And so if you're trying from frustration, we want to find a way to absolve you from this sense of responsibility that you have, that it's your job to somehow make this happen. Because truthfully with the law of attraction, you simply line up with it and it materializes at the end of the day. All of this trying stuff that we do is really an illusion. It just shows up. And so when you give yourself permission just to ask for help, what you're really saying is, you know, God, universe, angel, spirit, whomever, this higher power, can you please take care of this for me? <laughs> I don't want to do this. Can, can you take care of this for me? I'm going to give this to you. Please, you help me with this. I know, I know that you can do it. You know, you're all powerful, all, all knowing. You've got this. I'm just a mere mortal here. You, you've got this. Okay. I love to use this as a technique because again, it allows me to get out of the idea that I have to try. I've already delegated it to the universe. I've already given it to God or given it to the universe, given it to spirit. I've already given it away to be done. Why would I compete with that? Right? Because if it's all knowing and all powerful, it's much more equipped to do the work for me. I've used this particular technique to manifest all kinds of cool stuff. Um, I mentioned it once before in a story and I'm just reminded right now because I'm in the process of hiring some people and it's just really reminded me how much I really love my first hire who is my assistant, Mary. I got her through this technique because I didn't know anything about hiring people. I'm like, I just need someone to help me. And Mary just wrote into me, hey, I'd like to work for you. <laughs> and it turned out she's just a fabulous, fabulous person to have on my team. And so she came through prayer. Um, another thing that I got too was addiction recovery. All right. So I used to be hooked on opioids. And if you don't know much about being hooked on opioids, it's pretty terrible <laughs> because when you stop taking them, if you're really hooked on them, you go into withdrawal and it's like being really sick and depressed and anxious for a really long period of time. And I couldn't seem to get off for long periods because I would go into withdrawal. And I knew about the law of attraction and I knew I wanted to be sober and I knew what I had been doing wasn't working. So I went ahead and just asked, I said, you know what, can you please show me the way where I can get off of these drugs and not go through withdrawal so I can just, it can just be easy. 
and lo and behold there was a way and i actually made a video about that and i'll go ahead and link that up in the description because i'm sure somebody wants to know what the way was so i'll go ahead and drop that below if you'd like to watch that but asking for help really great way to get what you want without having to do anything all right now i have another great technique here to help you manifest anything without having to do anything <laughs> But first, if you enjoy law of attraction videos that teach you how to manifest the life of your dreams, please make sure to go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And of course, go ahead and turn on the handy notification bell. I put out law of attraction videos like this every single week, and I know you're going to love them. All right, for my next strategy here, this is another one I mentioned a long time ago, so I'm gonna bring it back because a lot of new people are on the channel, and a lot of times we forget you know, these great techniques. And this is one of my favorites. So I just have to mention it now. And it's writing checks, writing checks. Hopefully you've got a checkbook. <laughs> Do you have a checkbook? Let me know. Let me know if you have a checkbook. This is a really great one. If you've got old checks laying around, you could, if you don't, you could go online and like print out some images of checks and like cut them up. So you have little checks that you can write. But the idea is that you're going to write checks for the things that you want. This was one of the first little techniques that I learned way back when, when I first learned, started learning about the law of attraction. And it really turned me on to the law of attraction in a big way because so many things started manifesting for me. I would write out, like if I wanted to take a trip to the Bahamas, you know, I'd write, I'm going to go to the Bahamas. Is a Bahamas all-inclusive resort, something like that. And I would write out the total of how much I thought that might be. Oh, it's going to be a $5,000 vacation. And I'd write it out and I'd sign the check and I'd date it and I'd put it in another box. Okay. So it wasn't this box, but I had another box that I would put the checks in. Same kind of thing. Put them away, but do that. Make some checks, fill out some checks and write out you paying for certain things that you want. Maybe you want a Rolls Royce, you know, maybe you want a new house. Maybe you want to buy a football team. I don't know. <laughs> But sit there and think about exactly what it is that you want, how much you're paying for it, sign and date the check, and then put it in a box. Now, again, like with this strategy, I really like the idea of wait until you've forgotten what's on the checks. I think that's really, really helpful. Just write it out as if you paid for it, put it in the box and forget about it, okay? Now, these don't have to be super long-term goals. Uh, you can do these for all different kinds of things. I did these for smaller things, shorter-term things, longer-term things, but just go ahead and put the stuff in the box and see how it does. The check writing game is really awesome, not just for materializing dreams, but also for manifesting money because it gets you in the habit of spending larger sums. So that's a really great technique to really manifest anything that you want without having to do anything and boost up your income as well. All right, now I've got three questions for you. Number one, did you like this video? <laughs> Number two, did you learn something interesting about the law of attraction today? And number three, am I the kind of person who resonates with you? Now, if you said no to any of those, that's fine. I still love you. <laughs> But if you said yes to all three, you may really like some of my law of attraction downloads and courses because I do have a rather extensive library of shorter downloads all the way up to really big and extensive courses and programs on all different types of manifesting topics. And so if that interests you at all, I will go ahead and put a link below in the description where you can see all of those courses and downloads and see if any of them are a good fit for you. Also, if you are new to my work here, I would love to invite you to take my law of attraction test. If you would like to know for sure that you, yes, you really are the creator of your reality. I've designed a very simple, very quick five minute test where you can prove it to yourself, put something out and watch it come back. And to take that test now, please go to manifestingtest.com. Again, that is manifestingtest.com. I'll also go ahead and put a link below in the description to the test, but manifestingtest.com is the direct link. Thanks so much for watching today's video on how to do nothing and get everything. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And of course, I look forward to bringing you another video soon. Bye-bye.